Padre, I was wondering, how do you make a good confession? And do you go to confession only when you have mortal sin on your soul? Once again, we find ourselves in the confessional. Only the second episode on confession, but a sacrament that hopefully we visit on a regular basis. The church says we must go to confession as a minimum once a year. But our Lord is always calling us to do more than the minimum. We have a long tradition of going to confession regularly, once a month, or even more if needed. So how does one make a good confession? The key is proper preparation. Another tradition in the faith is doing the nightly examination of conscience. Every night before going to bed, we set a few minutes aside for prayer and look back over our day. Where did God give me graces, and where did I let him down? If we incorporate this little practice into our prayer lives, we are well on our way to making a good confession. It's easier to remember where we let God down during the day than looking back over weeks at a time. Next would be the immediate preparation. It's a good idea to find a reliable and honest examination of conscience to guide preparation for the sacrament. There's a link in the comments to an examination which I like. Again, set aside a few minutes of prayer time and invite the Holy Spirit to help you with this examination. It's not uncommon in the spiritual life for the Holy Spirit to, from time to time, bring up sins in our lives, either current sins or those from our past that maybe we never confessed. The reason is, sin is the one thing that can keep us separated from God. He wants to help us uproot anything that will get in the way of our relationship with Him. Once you know all your sins, it's time to come in. One practical note, feel free to bring notes with you. The goal is to get everything. So if you have the kind of mind that needs a little assistance, bring it with you. There are apps out there that are specifically designed to help with confession. After coming in, you can either stay anonymous behind the screen, or if the option's there, you can go face to face with the priest. When it comes to the sacrament, there must be the possibility of an anonymous confession. Face to face is an option if the priest wants to and if the penitent wants it. Neither can be forced to do face to face confession against their will. Then we begin. After the sign of the cross, the penitent begins. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned, and then they state how long it's been since their last confession. One week, two months, a year, whatever it's been. Then, confess whatever sins you found during the examination of conscience. We're called to confess in both kind and number. Kind is what we did. Here we find a delicate balance between too little information and too much. Too little would be, I broke the first commandment. That could be any number of things. Not making time to pray every day, going to see a fortune teller, not trusting in God, or anything else. A little more information is needed. Too much information would be explaining the scenario around a sin, justifying one's sins, or even worse, confessing the sins of someone else. The priest doesn't need to know all these extra details. If you're confessing and he needs clarification, he'll ask. This brings up another point. Don't be surprised if the priest asks for information. He's not prying into your life or saying you gave a bad confession. Instead, he's just trying to make sure that the confession isn't too vague, or maybe he needs to know something more to be able to give advice. The other part, as I said, is we confess sins in number. Here we have to do our best. Some things can't be numbered. Pride, for example. It's hard to count the number of times we've been proud. Other actions, however, can be numbered, or at least an estimate of how many times it happened can be given. I gossip at work every day. I've stolen two items. You get the points. When you're done, let the priest know. Traditionally, you can say, for these and all my sins, I am sorry, but anything to let him know you're done is fine. Then, he may give you some advice if he wishes, and he'll ask you to make an act of contrition. Most confessionals have an act of contrition for you that you can read, or you can bring one with you in your notes if you don't have it memorized. Then the priest will say the prayer of absolution, and you're done. Okay, that took longer than I thought, so we're going to cover the rest of this question next week. And if there's anything left about this sacrament I haven't answered, feel free to comment, and I'll cover that next week as well. And never hold back from asking the associate. God bless.